There isn't ever one healing experience that will be the one that, unless you're very unusual, that will sort of completely heal you. Um, it's usually something that you have to put a lot of effort and time into. And sometimes you need to sit with not knowing what to do next. And that's sometimes the hardest place to be. So throughout, you know, this time I've really delved into all my wounds and my, the roots of, of what's holding me back, really. And I've had to do that work for myself before I've been able to offer that to anyone else. I am Ali Rabjohns and I'm a shamanic practitioner and an arts counsellor and I've worked for about 10 years doing this. My passion is creativity and shamanism together so I would love to weave that together more. And my lineage is connected to Ivan Nuno del Prado and also amazing medicine men and women who work with Alberto Villoldo. So it's from the Caro lineage, um, and I do feel very connected to that particular part, aspect of my work. Shamanism is a way of dreaming your world into being through the land of the mythic. So it's, a, it's about having a foot in both worlds, the reality world that we live in and the spirit world. And it's about walking with balance, walking with reciprocity, and walking with impeccability so you can listen to the, the guidance you're being given by spirit and you can kind of at will go into slightly altered states so traditionally that's through the drum or for example it could be through plant ceremony or however it is that you've been taught. The Andean Cosmovision is that everything has a thread of energy connected to it and even your intention, your breath I'm a bridge because I'm bringing those teachings from Peru, from the High Andes, to the UK. At the moment, I'm just following the next step, so I'm always guided. But really, simply, my intention is just to be a hollow bone. I totally trust that the universe sends me the people I need or, or who I can help. I'm being guided definitely to build my lodge, my shamanic lodge. I'm being guided to do more workshops, events. I'm just following guidance. I'm not thinking, I've got to be out there <laughs> in the public eye. No, I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking, right, great spirit, what do you want me to do? I'm in service, basically. That's my role. I'm not special. I just heard the call and I acted on it and I stepped up. And I think a lot of us, a lot of people are hearing that call, whether it's to become more connected to nature or whether it's actually to, to do a course or become interested in a certain aspect of shamanic work. So just keep going, walk the sacred path.